Hello, Attitude Trending. Do you know where to begin when it comes to writing a company profile? This guide lays out the actions you need to take. Having a corporate profile is essential whether you own a small startup or a global corporation. However, what you find engaging may be a snooze face for the reader, causing you to miss out on an opportunity to advertise your business effectively. How to write a company profile in 10 simple steps. If you want to be sure you've included all the necessary details to lure your reader, flip the typical business profile on its head and think about what your target audience wants to know about your business. Watch our video which explains how to write a company profile. Number one, identify the profile's purpose. Business profiles are used in a variety of settings, such as a company website, trade portfolios, and investment strategies. So before you put pen to paper, you must first determine the profile's goal. Don't worry, you can always change it later if necessary. Let's pretend your profile is for your company's website. Make a list of the topics about your business that your audience would like to learn more about and organize material accordingly. You should also make sure that the tone of the article is appropriate for your intended audience. For example, you don't want to make it sound stuffy by blasting it with facts because quite frankly, no one cares unless you, of course. Number two, decide on style. Now that you decided on the tone you want to use for your profile, it's time to figure out how you present the content. Do you want a traditional style spread it down into sections or you want it displayed as a timeline? Some organizations such as Philips seek to express their stories in a more visual way. That said, as long as it's suitable with your brand and sector, you shouldn't be afraid to be unusual and stray from the norm. If you're an accounting business, for example, you should definitely keep the typical structure, which includes details about previous honors and achievements. Number three, tell a story. Now, when you're attempting to get people to care about your company, you need to tell a compelling tale. It's not enough to merely give dates and figures. You must also ensure that your readers are bored when telling your company's story. Whether you started with a laminate stand and grew up in a family business, how you tell your story is the most critical factor. After all, not everyone's tale will be as thrilling as the next. Take a look at Zappel's approach for some ideas, as this well-known retailer has mastered the art of storytelling. Number four, outline your mission statement. If your company doesn't already have a mission statement, now is the time to get down to business and craft a compelling statement about your company's beliefs, ethos, and niche. You must explain what you provide and how you want to grow as a company to your readers, essentially telling them why they should select you over a competition. Disney's mission statement, for example, encourages you to think that they will present you with the world's creative entertainment experience. The Walt Disney's company purpose is to be one of the world's premier entertainment and information producers and providers. We aim to create the most creative, innovative and profitable entertainment experiences and related products in the world by using our portfolio of brands to differentiate our content, services and consumer products. Number five, keep a consistent format throughout. When it comes to drafting a business profile, some creative types let their imaginations run wild. So if you're one of those people, pay close attention to the following advice. Make sure your formatting is consistent. Use the same font and size throughout your content and in your headers, for example, don't use distracting images or bright colors to overshadow your profile. Stick to those that are consistent with your overall brand. For example, at Attitude Trending, we use specific fonts and colors, black and gold, that are carried out over into all our products, including our social media channels. Number six, write the company's history in the chronological order. Jumping back and forth from the past to the present will only confuse your reader, so list your company's history in the chronological sequence. 
it is totally up to you whether it is done in the form of timeline or paragraphs. The most important thing is to make sure it flows and makes sense to the reader. It is critical not to get bogged down into too many details while doing so. Instead, make a list of your company's major accomplishments to explain how it got to where it is now. If you're a small business, you can include information about the brand's origin and evolution. Number seven, include testimonials. By providing clients with feedback from another customer, a good testimonial can add value to your brand. In a B2B business, testimonials from most important customers are great. In a B2C company, however, short statements with feedback that aligns with your beliefs work best. You want to provide genuine comments to the reader without appearing too promotional. Step eight, include your contact information. Now that you've covered the essentials, it's time to fill in the blanks with some useful knowledge. If you plan to utilize your company profile offline, make sure you include your address, phone number, email address, and fax number, if applicable, at the top of the document. Meanwhile, if your company's profile is for a website or other online forums, you can simply provide your contact information at the bottom of the page as a hyperlink. Step nine, add a call to action. If you want to give your company profile that extra polish, and who doesn't, include your call to action at the end. This could be something like, to, to learn, learn more, please, please visit our website, or contact us for additional information. In a sense, you should leave the reader with some food for thought, as well as mechanism to locate solutions to their queries. Step 10. Proofread, proofread, proofread. Finally, double check that your company's profile is free of errors by proofreading it. After all, it's one of the most significant documents you ever write for your company. When you've been gazing at the same piece of text for hours on end, it is easy to miss little problems, which is why you should have another pair of eyes look it over. Also, don't forget to keep your company's profile up to date. Add an annual calendar reminder to update your profile to stay in line with the way your business is growing to guarantee you don't make the same mistake. Thank you for watching. This is Attitude Trending. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay tuned.